Hello, Internet friends. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's topic comes from a YouTube watcher, Balant Simmer. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly there. Is it possible to replace the rope light vertically somehow? So, I want to show you how I would place a vertical rope light. Let's get started. So as I was drawing rope lights here in this plan uh, under the cabinets, I was reminded of Balance question for vertical rope lights. There isn't a native way to do it, uh, as in we can pull up a section or elevation and, and draw a rope light, as he commented, you know, in, in camera views, it's just not available. I can place outlets and switches and lights, but rope light auto place and connect electrical are grayed out here. So we have to go about it in the way that works. Um, I'm not sure of a case of where, maybe in, um, maybe you want a vertical rope light in, well, let's say it's in a um, glass front cabinet. So I'm gonna make this front, um, this door glass and quickly here let's find glass yeah maybe you want maybe you want um, glass you know rope vertical rope light behind this glass here so let's uh, I'm going to take a different section of this take a section through the cabinet itself and right behind the door we'll put a rope light on the edge. I'm going to draw a line and please forgive me my allergies are acting up so I will try to edit out any sneezes. Draw this line and convert this polyline to a 3D molding polyline. Now before I do that I'm going to have to figure out what um, shape I want to give it. In my default, I'm going to go to my default settings for rope light. Under default settings, click on electrical and double click on rope light. The default rope light is this hexagon. Actually, I guess that's an octagon. And there's no octagon shape in the library. So we could make one, or we could use a standard shape that uh, profile that we do have in the library, such as a circle, maybe. Let's draw a quick octagon, though. I'm going to go into my polyline tools and do a reg regular polygon. Radius to side is fine. I want eight sides radius quarter inch because I want it half inch across. We'll zoom in on this and you can see if I hit my space bar, um, actually I'll just draw a line across there. Down here at the bottom it's shown as half an inch across. I could add this to my library quickly and we'll call this octa, octagon, half inch. I'm not sure how the rope light has this default. Um, let's go back into this. Default rope light is this octagon, half inch across and there's no octagon in the library. So I'm not sure where this is pulling from. If you happen to know this, I'd be curious, leave, leave a comment below and tell me where it's getting this default rope light shape from. All right, now back in my section, I'm gonna select this line and convert that to a 3D molding polyline and select my molding 
the last molding that I just made was octagon one half, so it's pulling it automatically from my library. Otherwise, we can replace and go to uh, our libraries and find that octagon half molding. Let's go back into our rope light defaults and select material. So our material is default glass, lights, lighting white. So let's find lighting white material. Now I'm not sure where that, there it is. Um, moldings. I'm gonna turn off the wall cabinets for the moment in this elevation view. There we go, so I can select the molding itself and let's open that I hit command E on my keyboard on a Mac if you're on a PC it's control E unless you've changed it uh, go into materials and select materials now in my planned materials I should have lighting white already chosen or already loaded into this um, plan because it's in the rope light so lighting white, for some reason this lighting white doesn't have a have the lighting. So I'm going to use this uh, this material because it has that. Uh, well, what are we, let's go edit. It has that emissivity at, at twenty five thousand units. Let's go into a camera view. Okay, I'm not seeing it there. I'm not seeing. Let's turn off the wall and base cabinets in this plan. Hmm. Let's make this bigger. Obtain aspect ratio, let's say 10. Because I gotta find it in plan view. Oh, there it is. That's because it's it's a vertical um Yeah, it's hard to see a vertical uh, molding, unfortunately. Uh, so what I did was I went to my um, select contained objects and just dragged a box around that area. Let's change that back to one half. We're going to turn the base and wall cabinets back on in this layer. And I'm going to drag again. So that's where the molding is. And I'm just going to put it right back here. Let's look in the camera view. Okay, so it is back there. You can see it right along that edge. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. You see that 
that vertical light beam there. Maybe if we pull that out further, pull it over here, go back to camera, there you can see it again. You probably wouldn't want to see it, um, obviously, in the glass, uh, through the glass, but uh, that just is an example of how that, that it is there for this, for the purpose of this tutorial. That's how I would show a vertical rope light. I hope this has been helpful. If you find these videos helpful, would you consider supporting the creation, continued creation of, of uh, education and tutorials like this? Check out my Patreon page. You can find me at patreon.com slash design build solutions. For as little as a cup of coffee each month, that uh, helps offset uh, my time and energy and, and expense into these videos. And if you need further uh, help with some of your files, uh, you can increase your support there and uh, get help, personal help uh, from me as well. Thanks so much for watching these videos. Check the like, uh, give me a like, check the subscribe and the notification bell, and I hope to see you again next week. Take care.